Question 16. The relative magnitudes of property X of five elements is shown. PQRST are all in the period 3 and have the consecutive atomic number, means they are ne next to each other. Uh, so this is the property X with the PQRST. So the, the question is, uh, which row is correct for the property X and uh, elements R? Uh, so this is quite obvious that is the electrical conductivity so which means P is the sodium Q is the magnesium and R is the aluminium S is the silicon T is the phosphorus so why because uh, these three they are metals and the uh, Sodium is has one uh, valence electron, magnesium two valence electron, and this aluminium is a three valence electron, and uh, aluminium is has more delocalized electron in the, met uh, the metallic lattice. So that's why it can carry more uh, electrical charge. Uh, so that's why R is the aluminium, and this X is the electrical conductivity. So of course the silicon, uh, the conductivity is uh, much lower than the others, followed by this phosphorus, non-metals, right? So, uh, and if let's say uh, the property X is uh, electronegativity, so you have to understand when across the period, means the PQRST across the period, so the electronegativity increases so for example sodium is 0 0.93 then magnesium is higher 1.31 until let's say phosphorus is 2.19 so means it will increase is going up so that's why this uh, property x is not electronegativity because it's not fit the trend here for the C, uh, melting point, it should be something like this. So the highest melting point is the silicon because it's a giant covalent structure. And the sodium, magnesium, and aluminum, so they have the metallic lattice. So the melting point is high. And after that, after silicon, it will go down to this phosphorus. Phosphorus is a simple molecular structure, P4. Sulfur also simple molecular structure, but more atom, S8. That's why higher melting point than the phosphorus. Then followed by chlorine, Cl2, because it's diatomic molecule. So it has a lower melting point compared to the previous two, followed by argon, right? So if it's, uh, if the property X is a melting point, it's some it should be something like this, look like this. So this is uh, the melting point across the period three. For the second ionization energy, uh, this one, if let's say the property X is second ionization energy, uh, let's look at this table. Uh, when it's across the period, means from sodium to argon here. So as you can see, second, uh, second here, second ionization energy, the highest is sodium. Why? Because sodium is group one. When it's removed the second electron, the second electron is from the inner shell. So it needs more energies to remove it. So that's why the second IE for the sodium is the highest. Then after that, it will go down and it's increased. So something like this. So it's go down to 1,400 something. After that, it slowly increases until it reaches the, the argon. So this is how the, the, uh, the trend looks like for this uh, second IE.
So that's why D is not the answer. So answer confirmed is A, electrical conductivity, So which is this trend. Okay, that's all. Thank you.